Water defines our world, from shaping the surface of the planet to supporting all life on Earth. Water in abundance makes Earth remarkably different from its neighbors in the solar system. Mars is a frozen desert. Venus is hot and dry. The moon is both cold and hot and waterless. And then there is Earth, often called the blue planet because from space we see that most of our planet's surface, nearly 71% is covered in water. From out here, Earth's blue, watery surface appears calm and still. But Earth's water is constantly moving in a complex and unending cycle, shifting between solid, liquid, and vapor, moving between Earth's sky, its surface, and the ground beneath our feet. Water is on the move in the atmosphere. Water vapor, usually invisible but colored gray in this animation, moves heat from the equator toward the poles. Where warm, moist air rises to meet cold air, swirling white clouds form. Water vapor transforms itself into droplets or icy crystals and falls to earth as rain or snow supporting life on the continents and sculpting landscapes as it moves across Earth's surface. In this 12-month sequence, snow cover comes and goes. Tropical areas green up, then turn brown as precipitation changes with the seasons. And water is on the move in the world's oceans. Currents of water, like huge ocean rivers, move around the globe. Warm tropical waters, shaded red in this animation, run towards the poles. Cold polar waters, here shaded blue, return to the tropics. Endlessly cycling, these currents help regulate Earth's climate. Even deep beneath Earth's surface, water is on the move. There may be many times as much water locked up in the minerals that make up Earth's mantle as there is in all the world's oceans. The water-bearing minerals of Earth's mantle make rock more elastic under heat and pressure, making possible the movement of continents across the surface of the Earth, causing volcanoes, earthquakes, and the rise of new mountain ranges. Earth has a vast amount of water, but only a small fraction is suitable for human use. What we drink and bathe in, what we use to grow food, what we depend on for life is fresh water. Fresh water sustains all life outside the oceans. And there is surprisingly little of it. Just how much of Earth's water is fresh water? The squares that you now see covering the sphere represent all the water in and on Earth. The oceans hold 97% of Earth's water. This water is too salty for our needs. Let's remove the ocean water. The remaining 3% is fresh water. But two-thirds of that is locked up in glaciers, ice caps, permafrost, and deep underground. It's fresh water, but we can't easily get to it. When we remove the squares that represent inaccessible fresh water, we are left with this slender ring of blue. Less than 1% of Earth's water supports all life outside of the oceans. And that is not evenly distributed across the planet. The highlighting on this map points to places in the world where freshwater supplies are inadequate for the human population living there. Frequent water shortages in these areas affect not just people, but numerous species of plants and animals that need fresh water to live. Human demands on water, a precious and limited resource, are growing. Experts predict that by 2025, over 2.4 billion people will live without adequate supplies of fresh water. Most of the demand for fresh water isn't directly from our homes, but from industry and agriculture. This map shows where crops are raised around the world. The darker the color, the more land is devoted to producing crops. 
Agriculture represents the largest share of human freshwater use, an astounding 70%. This animation shows how Earth's human population has grown over 200 years, from nearly 1 billion people in 1800 to over 6.5 billion people today. At night, city lights pinpoint our densest population centers. With so many people on Earth, collective choices about how we use our water do have global impact. The human impact on Earth's water is greater than from any other form of life. Water is the foundation for life, not just ours, but all life on Earth. We can choose to protect our water so that generations to come may also appreciate the magnificence of our water planet.